Today on the channel, we've got a big boy from the Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary line, Hulk. The spirit of the Living Warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review. And today we've got a special one. We've got the 20th anniversary of the Hulk Marvel Legends figure. But remember, for all your Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And special shout out to the Facebook MLC group out there. And all the Marvel Legends talk you could want. Join up, sign up for that Facebook page. Now today, we're talking 20th Anniversary Hulk. We've already talked Iron Man. We've already talked Captain America. Now we're really getting down to the brass tacks. We're taking a look at Hulk. And I gotta be honest here, when they announced that line... I didn't give me the warm fuzzies like it gave a lot of people back in the day. As I remember these 20 years ago as I talked in those other videos. I just wasn't actively collecting them. And I really wasn't a big fan of those Toy Biz ones. As sacrilegious as it may be, I wasn't a big Toy Biz Marvel Legends guy. And I just admired them from afar. But Hulk here, I remember seeing the pictures for this during the live stream. I remember Hasbro officially gave us the beautiful promo pictures and stuff. And I remember saying... Not a ton of meat on the bone for old Kyle. I'm not sure if this is exactly what I'm looking for in a Hulk. But I gotta say, getting it in hand here, you guys know. Long-time viewers of the channel. And if you're not a long-time viewer, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. You guys know I love big figures. I love the deluxe figures. And that's what this Hulk is. So right there, you're uh, batting a thousand with Kyle. Not sure how this will look in hand, but one thing that I did notice that I don't remember being revealed earlier was all the extra accessories with this Hulk. So that is cool. That helps make you justify the purchase as this guy costs a little bit more than the Iron Man and the Captain America. Of course, we do know Toad. He went up for pre-order a couple weeks ago to finish off Series 1. We'll see who we get in Series 2, but it's a great way to give us some more core guys that maybe they weren't going to get to anytime soon kind of give them in these fan channel exclusive ones. And that's where the big bad toy stores of the world comes in is you're not going to find this at your Walmarts and Targets. You're going to have to go online to find this Hulk. So that being said, we laid the groundwork here. We're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. I can see a lot of people keeping this in the package. Uh, the big window bubbles, they are coming to an end. This could be the last round the last dance for this kind of packaging in the future as we know everything will be closed in the future as well uh, it is what it is tough times for mid on card collectors out there i feel for you guys but we got the marvel legends logo 20th anniversary you got hulk you got uh, the mandroid head in there the big yellow one i'm more accustomed to the silver shieldish one like we got in the build a figure back in the day uh, you got Marvel Legends up top. What is that? One, Series 1, of course. I love that they got all the uh, little emblems of all the different superheroes and stuff. I think that is a nice little touch. Really cool throwback packaging. Throwback packaging always hits people in nostalgia feels. That's why they do it. They convince us people. You know, I have saw it with He-Man, the Masters of the Universe Origins. I've seen it multiple times in the stores. You guys know I'm in a lot of stores. Saw it multiple times. People stop and say, whoa, I had this when I was a kid. I guarantee you some people that collected Marvel Legends 20 years ago will stumble across these somewhere or see these and maybe start collecting again. And that's what Hasbro really wants at the end of the day. But very cool packaging. Got the clear sides going on and then the old school backing. No cross sell, nothing like that. A little bit of a blurb, a lot of warnings, UPCs, more emblems on the side. A little glamour shot. Of course, a background with this as well. Old school Marvel Legends logo at the very top. Let's see what it says about old Hulk. Reversible backdrop, it says on the front as well. For 20 years, the Marvel Legends series has brought the iconic characters and storylines of Marvel Universe to fans worldwide. To celebrate the 2002 Toy Biz debut release, Marvel Legends proudly presents the 20th Anniversary Series 1, featuring Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, and Toad. If you're interested in seeing Captain America and Iron Man, those are up on my YouTube channel, so check those out. Now, this is a very hard to get out of the package here, and I think a lot of people aren't taking it out of the package, but I'm getting my old knife out. I'm slicing and dicing, and we're going to try to slide this guy out as easy as possible without cutting my fingers off, too. As I don't mind losing my fingers, but just not today. Let's just not lose those figure, fingers or figures today. There it is. That's how it's done. There's the old backdrop. I guess we'll look at this first since it came out. You got Leader. You got Rhino. You got Juggernaut. You got Abomination. You got Modok. Very cool. I like that a whole lot. Very old school comic inspired. And then you got a little diorama piece, which is cool. It would be much cooler if it was a big piece that you could wrap on a shelf. Kind of like I have my Marvel Legends. Uh, but yeah, that is cool enough. A nice little 
interest action. Ah, oh, man, mine's got a little dent on the corner, but I guess that's not the end of the world. But I do have a little dent on the corner there. All right. Oh, my gosh. We got two plastic prisons going on. There's a lot going on here, guys. Big, heavy figure, as you know. There it is. Blue background. See you later. Goodbye. Let's look at this plastic prison first. How about there it is. The old plastic prison. Two big old Hulk fists up there. I always say it in my reviews. Need fists. Superheroes. Wrestlers. I don't care what you're talking about. If they fight, they should at least have one fist. That's a good rule. And we got two with Hulk right here. Got the stand and we got a little base action. Let's pull all this out of the plastic prison. And there you go. And see you later. Goodbye. All right. Two Hulk fists. We've seen this before. A nice wash, kind of a dark wash on these hands, which is interesting looking at them from afar. But two big old Hulk fists. Must have for Hulk. He better have some fists. Uh, then you get the Marvel Legends. We've seen this three times now. This is what you put the base in, and you're off to the races. You can display whatever you want. Choose your own adventure. Which side you like best, go with that. So we got that going on. And then this is one I forgot totally about. And maybe they didn't show this. But I'm sure they did. I probably just don't remember. But it's a very, very cool base. you got three peg holes in here, so you can choose where you want to put him. Uh, you can have him pounding with his fists, of course. You get a little like kind of green effects going out. Even if you don't want this for Hulk, you could maybe put this in a diorama, a display somewhere. I love stuff like this. Dioramas are a big thing in the action figure communities, as we all know. So this is a very, very cool idea, a very solid idea, and I really do like this. So we'll have to play around with this for some of the glamour shots in the video. So we got that going on. Now we get down to Hulk. We get down to the big plastic prison, and as usual with this Hulk body, which we've seen a few times, very, very heavy. And of course, at the end of the video, like always, we're gonna compare this Hulk to some of the other recent Hulks we've gotten between a few different lines. But there he is, big, big, heavy figure. Pull this bad boy out. And I don't remember. Oh, come on. Oh, can I get his head out? There it is. And pull it out. There it is. Fighting me. Fighting me. See you later. Goodbye. All right. We're going to start with these accessories. Now, the head here, that was one thing I didn't remember two heads with this Hulk. Maybe it was said. Maybe I just forget it. That's what happens with those live streams. You see them, and then you kind of forget about them, and then six months later, they're in your hands. And, oh, wait a minute. I don't remember this head. But we got two heads with this. We also got this Mandroid head. And like I said earlier, I'm more familiar with the silver head instead of the yellow. Uh, they got the cracked visor screen on here, some dirt on the side, kind of a translucent yellow plastic going on. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Another extra add-in that I didn't remember seeing or hearing about, but here, here it is. So another effect, accessory, whatever you want to do with it, you can. So now we get down to Hulk. Now this is a lot of people's classic Hulk, uh, and it's not bad. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about this head sculpt here. I like the hair that's going on. I guess we'll start with the head sculpts. I like the hair that's going on. Uh, it's weird with the green highlights in the hair. That's, I guess, more shading to the comics is what that is. But nobody really has green hair like that with mixed in with black. But it does make it pop a little bit more. Brings it all together with the paint of the figure. Uh, but the face with the big wide open mouth. And uh, it kind of reminds me of a cross of, is it the Creeper? The Scooby-Doo villain way back in the day in the 70s. 70s, I think it was. Uh, Scooby-Doo cartoon, the Creeper. That's kind of what that head sculpt reminds me of. It also reminds me of... Uh, Jeepers Creepers, you ever see the Jeepers Creepers movie where uh, the, the villain, the bad guy, the monster, whatever, opens his mouth. He's kind of got the wings that kind of come out of his mouth. It almost looks like that a little bit. So it's kind of a mix between the two. I don't know if I like it as much as I thought I would. Uh, maybe it'll grow on me, but I remember when we saw the promo images, it wasn't for me. I, I still don't know if it is for me there. Uh, but big, uh, kind of bloodshot eyes. I like that. A little effect. You got a little red around the pupils there. The green eyeballs with the red around it. I mean, this is Raging Hulk for sure. Head pops off just normally. Let's try this head instead. Let's see what we think. I don't know. The head sculpt is probably my least favorite part of this figure. As we've seen the rest of this figure in the past. This one also kind of looks like the Creeper. doesn't look like the Jeepers Creepers guy, but this looks like the Creeper once again. But more of a fish-like face. It's got like kind of a fish mouth going on. The bottom teeth are showing. Still got bloodshot eyes. Still has the green in the eyeballs. Uh, but good green skin tone on both heads that do match the body. Once again, you get the green highlights in the hair. Then you get down to the body. It's the articulation we've seen. Like we said, we've seen this mold. Got to get the most out of your molds. That way we always say that about Hasbro, Mattel, whatever company. It is a business at the end of the day. They're not going to make a new Hulk mold every time. They're going to get reuse, reuse after reuse. You got the arms that go up, down, all around. Nice shoulders, nice butterfly on these, which is really 
good on Hulk. Get some nice poses out of him. You get the bicep cut. You get the elbows, single jointed elbows on this big ones. But you do have two open hands to match the two fists. So mix and match. Choose your own adventure. What you want to do with his hands. Uh, then you get the big diaphragm up top. A little bit of movement. More front and back than side to side. Uh, but some nice movement there for some lurching aspects and stuff. The head, not a ton of articulation. You get the side to side pretty good. Uh, you get a little limited pulling down because of his chin on his big chest. And then the hair blocks it on the back. Uh, you do have a waist articulation. You do have the thigh cut. You do got double jointed knees. You do get nice ankle pivot. You really don't even need a stand for him because of his big uh, stance. His feet are big enough. They really do act as a good stand for him. I really do like the piping. This is very 70s Hulk is what kind of reminds me of when I was a kid. The nice piping on the, uh, I almost said green, nice piping on the purple uh, torn tattered jeans. Uh, nice little tears and rips with the white. Uh, very strange that the white doesn't go all the way around and throughout. It's like they forgot to finish off the back. But I guess most people aren't displaying this backwards, so it shouldn't bother you too much. But it is kind of an eyesore. It is kind of strange. The green tone is good. The darker greens mixed in with this one does add a little bit of it to it. Makes it look like a better figure. And of course, he has all of his toes, everything else. No shoes, anything like that going on. But not a bad Hulk, especially if you don't have a Hulk yet in your collection. Maybe you're a new collector or something like that. I could see grabbing this Hulk for sure. Or if you're a Hulk fan, if you want all your Hulks, give me Professor Hulk. That's the Hulk I want the most as of right now. I want an updated Professor Hulk with the big old gun. Give me that Hulk. That was a favorite of mine. I still remember that old school comic cover. Absolutely love that one. But not a bad Hulk. Let's do some Hulk comparisons. How about here's that two-pack with Wolverine. Very, very similar going on here. Of course, the body is the same. The jeans... I was going to say are a little different, but no, they are the same jeans as well. Different cuts to them. Nope, same cuts going on. So it is pure reuse. Just a little bit different color scheme. I got to be honest, I still like this one a little bit more. I don't know. I just There's something about this head sculpt that I really like. And maybe I'm different than you guys. Chime in in the comments down below. But I really do like that one. And then I believe this was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, gosh, what year was this? Uh, I can't even remember. Like four years ago, maybe something like that. But the San Diego Comic Con exclusive version of the Hulk. Of course, we've got Gray Hulk in this. We've got uh, the Red Hulk. We've got the Red and Green Hulk. We've got a lot of uses out of this body mold. They've really went to market a lot with this one uh, over the last few years. But I gotta say, guys, still to this day, my favorite Hulk figure of all time. It was my favorite figure last year in some of my top ten countdowns. It is. The Marvel Select Immortal Hulk. Yes, it's a little bit big, some would say. But Hulk, there really is no sizing for me. He's different sizes depending on the artist and all that kind of stuff, the TV show. I absolutely love this Hulk. This is my Hulk. This is my favorite Hulk. Uh, I just think this is just a slam dunk. And I definitely think this is the best Marvel Select figure of all time. And I'm a guy that loves the bigger Marvel Selects that I can uh, marry up and put into my Marvel Legends displays. That's exactly what I do with this Hulk. I actually have him as my Defenders Hulk. Just absolutely love this one. Uh, I don't know. I think this one is my second favorite. Then I'm going to go third and fourth. If this one was dressed up as Professor Hulk, he would probably be in my top position. This would be towards the end. Uh, but I think this does fit a position for people. Obviously, a lot of collectors have different Hulks and different displays, different teams, things like that. So I think you can find a home for this one. Uh, I do like it better than I thought I would, but not that much more. I, I got to be honest. It, it doesn't do enough uh, to make me say, oh, this is my favorite one. I still like these two as my favorites. But everybody has their own uh, favorites out there, and that's what you guys are here for in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on this Hulk. Is he your favorite somewhere in the middle, down the, down the path? Do you like him more than the old Toy Biz one 20 years ago? Well, I would say yes because I was not a big Toy Biz guy. But I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on this Hulk figure for sure. And of course, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. I have videos every single day that runs the gamut between all toy lines. So a lot of content here. And even more content if you're a member of the Patreon. You can get this video and a ton of other videos much, much earlier. Giveaways, bonus content, all kinds of stuff on the Patreon. Check that out in the link in the description below. You can hit me up on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the Hulk party, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.